the practice plan has tension. I, I need you to focus 110% for two hours in a, a, a rubber band. Well, you keep people like that, stretched like that, they're going to snap. I mean, we have some anxiety issues. We have all kinds of stuff going on, and I'm going to keep them stretched like that? I can't focus that long. So, so let's rethink how we want the pace of practice to go, how we want the tension of practice to go. And one, one way we do that, we are constantly together as a team and go away. And they go to their baskets. Together, go away. And that going away process is, you know, hands-on teaching when we're together. And the going away is you're, you're not teaching yourself, but there's more ownership to that basket. So that's a group of four guys at that basket. And we're chirping in from the center, but I don't have coaches at every basket because I want them to learn how to teach. So that's just kind of a basic format in, in the practice. Practice starts in the athletic training room. So our guys are going into the athletic training room. She teaches them how to be pros. She teaches them how to talk. She teaches them those things. It's fantastic. I very rarely go in there, but I go in there just enough and just kind of listen. The most important thing she does for me as an assistant coach, and she's able to have a special relationship that I cannot violate. When she tells me things, I can't violate it. But she saved so many practices. We're getting ready to go to the film room. So it's not just like, what is your assistant coach? What can he do? What the information can he do? It's like, how do we get that information across to each other in a timely fashion? I, I know we have some stipend coaches that are just busting their tail ends to get to practice at the right time. We don't have time for the hour staff meeting. Like, we got to do things on the fly. So they're going into the film room. We step out, and she says, hey, so-and-so had three tests today. He's really tired. They're dragging. They're a little bit cranky today. Boy, there's a, they're really juiced up today. But just those little things on the fly allows me to adjust what's going to be talked about in that film room. We'll always have basketball stuff to watch, and we'll have, we'll have instructional offense, positive offense, instructional defense, and then positive defense. And I always want to end on the positive. I want them to see the, the good stuff that they do. And I try to keep it even to protect me from me, right? So I can't have 27 negative things when we lose or have a bad practice. I want to stay consistent so it feels like a practice is very similar to how we dissect a game. So tension in a film room. Topics in the film room. Some will be basketball, like I said, but a lot of it's not. Who knows? I might be given a lesson on, on shaving with a single blade razor and how you have to angle that thing a little bit different than you do these, these modern razors where you can just go like this and can't cut yourself. So we're giving a lesson on the technique of that and why? Because you, know, you got a razor blade that far from your carotid artery. So that's important that you do it right in a lot of our guys don't know how to shave. So that might be the lesson for the day. What is that? And they're thinking, what does that have to do with basketball? And some days, nothing. It's just something I wanted to talk about and I find interesting. And don't we want to keep things interesting every once in a while, even if you're the butt of the joke? They want to hear basketball every day through here. Can we connect a few things and sometimes not connect anything? Because we're good at connecting. We're great at it. And then every once in a while, you don't connect it. And they go, I'm, I'm waiting for it, coach. I'm waiting. What do you got? Oh, I got nothing. I just thought that was cool. And we move on. All right. After that, we're loose. We're loose. Their rubber band's loose. Installation. We're going to put in something new just about every day or emphasize something. Maybe it's on the offensive side. And three teams go out that we picked out, um, and they, they go through it slow. They go through half speed and no pressure. They, I'm not, I can't yell at them. The first part of our practice is designed so that I can't screw it up. I can't yell at you. It's designed beautiful. There's music and it feels good and you can't screw it up. You come in on a bad day, it's really hard to screw this thing up, how we order it. So it's nice and slow. We go through the installation and then we go through what we call habits of movement. And that's our warm-up, although we don't really warm up. We just get to the game right away. And those are our defensive slides and some things. And then we'll go into individual skills. And the first thing we do is a shooting drill. 
So it's a two minute drill, you make five from five spots and, and I can show you all that stuff later. After the first guy goes through, what we did installation wise, so let's just say it's a new set play. I put a new set play in, no pressure. We went away from it, we did a shooting drill, we warmed up a little bit, and now I'm gonna come back to that set play. And we're gonna do it with speed. And I'll say group number three, uh, forwards out, tap, go. And they gotta go fast, and if they screw it up one time, out, group number two, and we'll go do it. And then, uh, then we'll go back to shooting. So now we're shooting. And then there's a little break and, I, and I'll call out another group. Group number one, now you're doing it full blast. And if they screw it up, you're out. No yelling, just you're out, you didn't get it. It causes them to really pay attention during installation. And because they know it's right around the corner, they're going to be tested. When you find yourself, and I, and I used to be guilty of this, constantly saying, give me your eyes, give me your eyes, pay attention. Joe, hey, come on now, you know, if you do that too much, you gotta do it some then maybe how you're structuring something isn't helping you out. I think slow installation, go away, come back with speed because now you don't want to embarrass your teammates, uh, but it helps sink in the learning curve.